all right all right all right and all right hello guys welcome to scene one tv live ah, another beautiful edition let me start with saying happy new month and uh, congratulations to making it towards the end of the year i uh, can't say like overall but congratulations for making it if you're watching this to december like it's a whole lot like from january february march april may you know october november and here we are in december i'm sure some people are already having this end of the year jitters on their body like eh another year so now let me give you guys another spontaneous one i am um, sometime um, i think in november i asked you guys um what have you guys achieved so far this year then another thing i put out there was what are you thankful for so far this year so those two questions i would likely love to get answers from them for me i'm very much thankful for life and as for achievement uh let's say not not the whole 10 10 10 10 that i intended to achieve but i can sure tell you that i've done more than half of what i intended to achieve this year which is really really good i'm just thankful but here's the surprising part um nothing is impossible within the next um how many days i'm just talking to like one of our sound and light guy that um really though when it comes to um the days that are left in the in the year a lot of things just comes to your mind but then 30 days is still i don't know still well enough for you to achieve something so if you feel there are some goals that you've set aside to achieve and you haven't done it just just put a pointer to yourself to say you know what before christmas or after christmas or before the 31st i have to achieve this so I, i'm putting you guys up for a challenge to do that i'm also doing that to myself that's right i'm telling you guys to do that anyways back to our views of course so today um ah, if i do that um i need to ask you guys how are you guys doing because i failed to do that which is very unlike me how was your day how was your weekend my weekend was splendid um let me say thank you to everyone who has been sending me their love and their shout out i really really appreciate and i'm honestly getting better and the bruises they're healing softly but i feel they're going to leave scars for me to remember all that tragedy that happened but I'm, I'm grateful thank you all for all the love and all of those things yeah my day has been good so far I'm in the bit of looking for how to make uh, money, not quick money, quick money, but then something something that can be substantial, you know. I'm still telling my producer that I need 13th month salary <laughs> in this December and we're laughing about it. But anyways, guys, how are you and how's your day? How's your weekend? And basically all of those things. But here, today we're talking about something very important, which um, I think is very good we're talking about it because this season, a lot of you will be doing this, me inclusive. So I want to learn today. Um, our doctor is in the house. Today we'll be talking about effects of smoking and of course alcohol in our body. So um, when I go on this break, I have my guest. Of course, he's a part of the family. We all know him already, but then after this break, you're going to find out. Stay connected, don't go anywhere. It's still all views until you want to go. Of course, I still remain with my partner. I'm blame, blame. See you guys in a bit. Stay connected. What's up? What's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, generally speaking, I'm a very popular person. People call me Big Don Shagzi. Some people do call me Sweetheart, Darling, and much more. But that's a private matter. Other people do know me as Shagun Shagay or called Jennifer. Or uh, sometimes in my spare time, I could also be Fav, the bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, for Jennifer's Diary, Industry, and much more banging entertainment, keep it locked to C1 TV. Also, click on the subscribe button on C1 YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Kisses. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Come I've already unveiled who my guest is. He is Dr. Ulu Let me just call it the four. I like to call it Dr. Yomi, but let me say Ulu Yomi, Dr. Ulu Yomi. Um, he's the medical director of Dale's Medical Center. Um, I'm sure you guys know some of what we've done, with, we've affiliated with them back then when it was um, 
the period of um, what was that thing we we're doing and um, the vector period we had to check like blood pressure and people's well-being and all of those things anyways doctor how are you doing ah! <laughs> good to have you back again walter thanks for having me As you don't feel very relaxed <laughs> last time like, like my family <laughs> yes you yeah very good very good um we're about to shake some tables ah, yeah, no, let's get ready let's get ready i know the table affects you which is very fine I'm, I'm ready to hear it because i i can't lie to myself i'm also but i want to make sure that whatever it is we're talking about you can give me um a reasonable level of not to do and to do yeah i hope so yeah yes. definitely yeah good so today we're talking about effects of alcohol and smoking i have a lot of counter effect a lot of uh, myths that people put out there and say ah you lie this or that one because ah, even in churches some of some people use this of course so we'll, come, we'll come to that so basically let me give you the ground so okay. like a ground opening um so um basically i would like us to talk about what is alcohol okay what is cigarettes uh, what is cigarette smoking and how much quantity of alcohol you can take uh -huh. in a day and in a week now what is alcohol alcohol is simply a colorless volatile flammable liquid hmm? which is naturally produced from fermented sugars and is not least to its intoxicating, intoxicating constituent known as the beers okay. the wines and the spirits okay. while cigarettes is simply defined as that thin cylinder okay. thin cylinder which is finely built for its tobacco mm? okay. and is wrapped in paper okay. for smoking okay. that's simply defined that's, 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 that's simple now what is the maximum alcohol a lot of people know that taking a, a excessive alcohol, not taking alcohol, okay. taking excessive alcohol and cigarette smoking is not good for their health. But what they don't know is how much effect it causes. Mm. That's what, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, before we go into that, let's talk about what is the maximum alcohol a man and a woman can take. Um, in Nigeria, I've been able to understand that most people is either they are taking beers or they are taking excessive spirits. Ali, will you see someone that will say, Oh, I've taken one wine, give me another wine, give me another wine. Ali, will you see that? Sure. Ali, will you see that? So, you, but you can see someone taking a full bottle of spirit or if, taking like 10 um, bottles of um, alcohol. So, those are the people who are, we should talk more about. Mm. So, th let's limit it to that today. So, those people, mm. okay. So, the maximum for spirits, the maximum. Um, you, amount of units you can't take more than three units in a day okay. and when i mean three units so i would i would when i mean units i don't mean you should take three um bottles, bottles. <laughs> <laughs> in like in, for the spirit you must not take more than um, 25 meals which is equivalent to one unit that means three units will be equivalent to 75 meals okay. that's really small because it, the spirit is about um, we're talking about 40 percent if we look yeah. at it the alcohol yeah. quantity is about 40 40 45 percent so we shouldn't take more than 75 meals in a day in a day in a All day right, so that's why we decided uh, give me one shot so if you look at it what's one shot it could be around that 20 meals okay. so that means it's like three shots you shouldn't take more than that, that that's, i know a lot of people are doing that's enough not enough to get the idea mm -hmm. so some people are already fighting right back and understand <laughs> but so, we so put down the comments so you understand so and you must not take more than 21 units in a week that's three units in a day and you must not consume more than 21 units in a week okay. so 21 can I, units can I do this math? I just 21 know. units is equivalent to about 525 meals if you do it if you do the maths okay so it's fine for me to leave all my meals in a day and just gather it up no you can't <laughs> <laughs> see the problem you can't because because hello people welcome to sin one tv here is a chance to be a part of the Sin One TV family where we have engaged. So you can't do that. Wow. Industry and a whole lot of. Okay. You know okay. So oh, you, ca you, you can't do that. Okay. That's what I'm trying to. If you, if you take. Probably you're, you're thinking, you know, the doctor said um, we should take 525 meals in a week. Okay, let me do it like Let me take let me 200 me. meals today. To 200 meals tomorrow. Then 125 meals <laughs> on Wednesday. <laughs> then the week I'm not going to take anything. No, you're damaging the liver. Okay. You can't do that. So, so how much how much damage can we do to ourselves when we do this often? 
Um, the, 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 that, that we are going to be going to the effect if I say if okay, I. Okay, but, okay, but, okay, but, let's, but let, let's, let's go to beers. Let's okay. go to beers. Okay, How that's much for spirits? That's for spirits. Yeah. How much beers can you consume in a day? Okay. You shouldn't. The same thing for a man. You shouldn't take more than three units, and for a woman, you shouldn't take more than two units. Okay. Hmm? A man can still take three units, while a woman must not take more. Why is that? Why? why because of, they are, of course they are lighter. They, they are. They tend oh, to. Okay. They, they, but I know some women that not light like that. They, they, I want. To, I'm trying to mention old, old, like old, 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 <laughs> because if you look at it, uh, there's a testosterone factor, and also if you go, go into another, if I, if, but we'll exp- I would explain it why. When we go into the effect, I would explain that. So, three units for beers, a unit is equivalent to about 210 220 mils. Okay. Hmm? While three units will be about 620 mils. Um, uh, permit me to use a brand. Okay, no, no, but oh, Okay, so um, Guinness stout is about, um, a small stout is about 330 mils. Okay. The small stout. Yeah, yeah. So, if you take two, so that's a small, small if you take two, that's about 660 mils. That is okay. So because two, two bottles, two, two, are okay, right? yeah, too, too uh, small. Too small, yeah, too small. No, too, small. too small, too big, I guess. Do, do, do you get? Yeah. So that should, that should be the maximum in a day. Now, in a week, you shouldn't consume more than um, 21 units, which is about 4,200 meals. How many bottles are that? Uh, is that uh, if, you, if you do the amount, two bottles in a day, you get. So that, that will be able to arrive at. Because if, if you calculate it, some people might not. They just take this particular brand. They might take probably they take um, stuff for instance, which the meals is more than okay. what is there. So okay, w- it's by meals now. This is not by, by, not by, not by. Because I know stout is a lot heavier. Yeah. I, I no, 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 these meals. I'm still using okay. meals. Wow. Three hundred and thirty meals. You shouldn't consume more than four thousand two hundred meals. Regardless of what the in a week percentage of alcohol is. The, the, I've already told you, you shouldn't consume more than three units in a day. Three units is equivalent okay. to about six hundred meals. Okay. Of a call, let's forget brand. Okay. That's okay. Ab- about 620 mils. Don't con- that's what you should not consume okay. more than in a day. day. Now, a woman should not consume more than two units. That's about if we do the math, that's about 420 mils. Hmm. Hmm. That's even a lot for a woman. So, 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 so if you look at it, that's 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 just the way it works. But now, there are some people who now take cigarettes. And also, and let's even do alcohol. They will come to okay. That do both of them. They now take. They now okay. take alcohol. The alcohol is um, is known as a depressant, while cigarette smoking is known as a stimulant. Now, why I brought this is because if you indulge in both, the tendency of you taking more alcohol is there. Hmm. Because one is a stimulant, while one is a Which depressant. Which is what happens in the You see somebody flicking. The so they just keep. They just keep. They just keep taking. And it keeps burning more. Do you get? They just keep hmm. taking. And this is like the like a chain reaction between. And the two parties. When we now get to the effects, I'll tell you what would happen for okay. those who take cigarettes and those who now take. Because if you take cigarette, for instance, there's a tendency of you having tars and the chemicals still in yeah, your in your tongue and, and if you now take alcohol you understand what would happen you're giving it like you're lighting match the biggest you've just take, consumed oh, it and that would now get there'll, there'll be an effect thereafter that i would explain when we get all right to let's, that. let's go on a quick bit this is getting more interesting you know i'm laughing because i'm not i'm doing one i'm not doing the other one <laughs> i'm very happy so for those of you that are doing both please watch out stay connected guys after this break we'll be right back stay connected Hello people, welcome to Sinwon TV. Here is a chance to be a part of the Sinwon TV family where we have engaging content like Jennifer's Diary, Angel Street and a whole lot of entertaining and educative content. To get started, simply log on to www.sinwon.tv to enjoy exciting content. And also, you can download the app on Google Play Store or on iOS Store. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels at Sinwon TV. If you're experiencing issues or require any assistance, kindly contact our 24 hour online customer service by calling or sending a message via WhatsApp 2 plus 234 Seven one TV. Nollywood at your fingertips. 
All right, guys, welcome. We're talking about the effects of alcohol and, of course, smoking. I'm sure some of you already know. What's funny, I know we'll come back to cigarettes. Um, easily, you get to see on the pack of cigarettes. Smokers are liable to die young. For even from the people that made it, mm -hmm. we're still here, we do this when we dodge. I know you don't see it on, on alcoholic brand. All they just say is above 18. You shouldn't you get. So mm -hmm. back, to what, back to what we're saying. The, 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 reason, the reason why... Um because there's something in the cigarettes, the tobacco, okay. that is addictive. Are you serious? Yeah. As, um, I the, 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 <laughs> the nicotine. Okay. The nicotine makes you addicted. So it's like um, there's a particular stuff we take then, Pringles. I don't know. Once you start, you can't stop. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I think that was their slogan then. So once you start, it's very difficult to stop because of the nicotine there. Mm? And there are other things there that they, they, they are tars and they are chemicals. Now these tars and chemicals, they are cas they, they have carcinogens, which means that you tend to have cancers of mm. the throat and also fagus. For people who and cancer of the lungs also. For people who consume um but I cigarettes. Hear, I don't hear that I, often though. Like I'm talking about cancer of the throat. They, 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 for people who take alcohol and people who take cigarettes, they tend to have that cancer of the throat and esophagus mm. because of the tires and chemicals and you are washing it with the alcohol wow. so they now they tend they, that those are people that be, they belong to that group now people who belong to uh, cancer of the lungs are people who have been smoking because you are damaging the lungs and that's why it is written that they are liable to die young yet read this message but we don't take it at heart for you people that believe anyway because i don't i just realized smoking is worse than drinking i don't know why i feel that way yeah, back, back to, back to it, it, yeah because we said um excessive alcohol okay. we didn't say don't take alcohol mm, uh -huh. so it's mm? very we said we've said excessive alcohol i will be able to tell you the maximum alcohol you can take in a day and the maximum alcohol you can take in a week but i did not say you should take one stick of cigarettes in a day <laughs> i've not even <laughs> got I, to do that it, it's not yeah. it's, it's a no-no yeah it's a no-no because but, but if you go to um like some developed nations mm -hmm. like let me give an example russia which is very cold um people tend to smoke and doctors might really look away because of the weather well, why not drink it? Because they, they, have they, they of course they, they 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 take they, 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 they take a lot of alcohol, they, they, a lot of alcohol yeah, too over there. They, but it still it has its own effect. Okay. But for Nigeria, that the weather is very hot. I'm like I don't I, I personally I really don't see reasons why because we can't give you excuse for that. Let me give you a scenario before we go to the effect. Okay. I had a patient. I'm not um we we admitting this patient for. Um, liver cirrhosis, that's like liver damage, um, liver damage, was addicted, is, is addicted no, to so Remy like Martin. He had cancer. No, 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 it's addicted to, um, when you have liver cirrhosis, the liver has been damaged. Wow. And once the liver is damaged, it's, it's more like liver transplant. Where do you want to do liver transplant in Nigeria? It's wow. difficult. I think in Africa, the only place where you can do a liver transplant, very few cases in South Africa, very few cases. Wow where you can do liver transplant. So we had a patient then, I think we were in Benin then, and um, this patient was being managed for liver damage. And all of a sudden, I was um, clerking, when I mean clerking, I'm asking the patient questions. I was close to him. I started smelling oh, alcohol. I was like, he said no, that um, maybe it's the one he has drank since. I was not convinced. This is a call that um, he just took. So I said, let me just check his pillow. I saw a bottle of Remy Martin. Brought, who, who brought it? His wife. So his wife brought the bottle and gave it to This is a man that we are managing for liver cirrhosis. And they're adding more salt to the so do, do, he said, if he doesn't take, he can't do anything. So imagine that kind of patient. How do you help this patient? That's madness, I must mm. say. How do you have this kind of place? And is a middle-aged man. When I mean middle, you're within forty. You're in your forties. How do you have this kind okay. of patient? So these are the kind of things we see on a daily basis, and um, you really find it difficult to help them. Yeah, we're saying you shouldn't consume more than this. People would hear it and you might just ignore, but that's the truth. Because when we go to the effects, we'll tell you 
these are the things it can cause and these are the things you should you should avoid and why you should try as much as possible to limit your alcohol intake and stop cigarette smoking okay All right, let's come to cigarettes because mm -hmm. um let's come to smoking generally mm -hmm. um uh, basically reading from the pack and it's not good for you know? mm -hmm. so how well would we say is there any to what end was this created for i want to know why because i can understand that for alcohol people are always in celebrating mood and they want to celebrate one thing or the mm -hmm. other this was created for different effects you know mm -hmm. some um, wines are here good for the heart mm -hmm. and all of those things so you there's a number you take it with your meal and all of those things that i can understand that for mm -hmm. drinking but smoking what exactly was to what end i, I still don't get it some the, of us the, 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 the medicinal the medicinal benefits would fall under all those marijuana if you don't, I, I didn't want to come to that. You do, to, let's do nicotine. No, no, if you don't, know, because if, if, if there is really any health benefit you can point out as for cigarettes, as for cigarette smoking. Okay. But the thing is, it, it once so once a brand is being created, hmm, and um, people take it, okay. and there's an addictive stop substance there, okay. hmm, it's very difficult to stop. Okay. Hmm? So you can't really say there's a particular health benefits okay so this. every component that nicotine has none of these benefits they have it, it no 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 you can't say you, you can't really say the um is someone who smokes cigarette is actually benefiting something you can't see because I, I i don't want a situation where we would encourage even if it's even if um there is a slight one like percent slight but it's it, it, it's it won't affect it, it's different okay. from all those um marijuana that way we can still tell you okay. there is one or two benefits it's different it's actually different where we can actually tell you okay this one you can benefit from this you can benefit from that okay. can be, it's just like uh, people would take lot of sprite coke they, they, are, they, they are a lot of sugar intake but people, so still, take people it. still take it okay okay you, you, you can't say you stop taking it they will continue to produce it because people will take it people are addicted to it yeah, people are because of the nicotine just imagine what is in cigarettes nicotine is there tar is there there are some chemicals there yeah. i've told you the tars and chemicals have carcinogens yeah. that will cause cancers yeah. i've told you the nicotine there is addictive meaning you find it difficult to stop and how do you stop cigarettes it's not all those things that they say or people tell me i've bought this one that you to make me the way you stop is if, if, you, are, if you are taking 10 um, um sticks in a day it should reduce it to five once you reduce it to five it should reduce 2.5 so, that's the way you can stop sure. it's not something you can't tell the person stop smoking all, in the mind all of a sudden it's difficult it is. Hmm? It is. all right agreed so you, you because you mentioned marijuana area so as a doctor would you because you're already smiling <laughs> <laughs> would you say as a doctor because i want to give you a tail after uh -huh. i say this thing uh -huh. would you say switch to marijuana instead of smoking cigarettes no you won't say that no part. no they know because because people would abuse it okay. people would abuse it okay. that's why it can't be legalized in nigeria why is that because every other country is already getting it. yes yes now i see that um, british people the if you look at it trying to do that why these people they are developed they are developed nations okay nigeria is still a developing nation mm -hmm. we have even without it not being legalized we're already abusing it we, so we, we see more? we have we have it's just like saying okay look at the coding story now look at it they are talking about it in the senate um, this, i have to prescribe um coding to my patients i have to prescribe to the people that need it yeah. now they find it difficult to get it yeah. but, so yeah. if you if you legalize things like that it will cause more harm so you you, you you can't you can't afford to say nigeria a developing nation just like saying because um in america they've legalized gone this thing yeah, nigeria you, you can't know, that's <laughs> you, so there's some things that you shouldn't just take your eye off it yes people are indulging in it you can't uh, but if you look at people that are indulging in it, the, the ones in their 20s most of them will not have psychiatric issues why, why does that happen they abuse it because of abuse. they abuse because once you take the, the, people are that, that's why i'm with people are like today they don't know this thing is too big it's too much for them so once they, they take it it affects everything. it affects them immediately it's different from maybe if you put maybe a shego here and a and a and a tie here a tie might not even might nothing might happen to him but Shego will just take just small and you would see this baby. <laughs> <you see> <laughs> so that is just the way it works. 
So you can't afford to say, let us legalize marijuana, even with all the health benefits. You, in fact, every day. But basically, as a doctor, it has more healthy benefits. Of course, we can. Yeah, we can argue that. Yeah, that passes for that, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you guys should indulge in it, but I'm just proving you guys. I didn't have, give. I didn't. I didn't give them a go. It passed. <laughs> it, it has more health benefits. It has. It, it has health benefits. 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 So, guys, you for those of you that enjoy indulge, please know your limit and stop. If you cannot, throw your bag. Be like I usually tell some people, stop it, stop it, stop it. So now let's let's come to before I now let's come to effect. Now, before I talk about effects now, I want to know, is there any good at all, any good that alcohol does to the body? I'm talking, let's talk about the high, let's not even do beer, let's talk about uh, vodka this time around. Is mm. there any, any effect? I know wine does, mm. let's do vodka. Like at some point, like, okay, this thing in my body, because you've told us we are supposed to take this ounce or this, um, what's it called, per day and all of those things. What effect good? You know, you know, we, uh, we, we just used wine, a glass of wine, but because we just want people to understand that a glass of wine is good for the health. I'm sure plenty of people have, uh, it's good for the heart. I'm sure plenty of people, uh, they are aware about that. The thing is, if you can limit your alcohol intake, you are, it's, um, you are good to go. You would avoid all these effects. But would I say a spirit, for instance, would also help the heart? People, people can argue it. People can argue it, but mm. it, it has not been written in any, okay. in any book. Because the people can argue it, okay. that it can help. But the most important thing is you don't stand, once you don't take more than what is excess, you don't stand the risk of having any of these issues. Because that's the, take it that's the most risk. important. People take alcohol for different reasons now. You, are in the, you go out, you want to indulge, you get... Yeah, people take alcohol for different reasons. So whether you're taking a call because oh you are you want you're in a party you need to indulge occasionally yeah that's fine okay. but does it help you elsewise people can argue it that in, the, in terms of your heart you it prevents um what we call coronary coronary heart disease which is common in the elderly people can argue it mm -hmm. but for wine yes certain it has been proven okay all right so wine is better and if you look at wine wine is about 11.5 to 12 percent mm -hmm. Yeah, but spirits. We're talking about forty. What, what about champagne? What about champagne? Of course, champagne would be. What yeah, is the it has to be sparkling water. And yeah, it yeah, yeah. Champagne will help, but people people tend to abuse it. True. People know. tend to abuse. What I know, people don't really abuse is wine. I think I've studied. It. Yeah, they do. I ah, did. You see, someone will take one wine. I say, give me another one. They do. Give me another one. The Adley will just say that. And it messes you up real bad. Uh, yes. you <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really see that. But with champagne, it goes smoothly. Yeah. It goes in smoothly. Going, you keep so you would see them, you see them, you get, and it, you would now take more than what is what, normal. What is required. Mm. All right, so let's come to effects now. Let's okay. Effects. So let's start with um, effects of alcohol. Okay. Mm? We'll talk about short term effect and long term effect. The reason why I want us to talk about short term and long term effects is because there are some people that will just take a call today, excessive alcohol, call, and probably they've never taken a call. A lady who has never taken a call today, just mm, let me, I'm out with my friends, let me just take a call for instance. She might never take it again. So she's not at risk of having long term effects now. Do you understand? So she would have, the person is at risk of having short term effects of taking a call. What are they? You see them frequent vomiting. Okay. Hmm? Frequent vomiting it, it, um, in Big Brother. I'm sure you would have seen. Ah, once, they, even before Big Brother, they, 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 they you've seen. Okay. I'm just giving that. You okay. see people. You get so number one frequent vomiting, diarrhea. They tend to have um, diarrhea. Yeah. Now you, the next morning after they've taken this alcohol, what do they complain about? Yeah, headache. Yeah. Headache. Oh, yeah. that, that, that's what they, they, they complain about headache. Those are short term effects. Mm -hmm. Now, what again would happen? They start feeling um, in, in, um, um, slurred speech. Yes. They can't really talk. Or, then, um, what again can happen? Sleepiness. They start feeling sleepy. And if you are feeling sleepy and you are driving a car, what can happen? An accident. An accident can happen. Mm -hmm. Now, there's, the accident can also be in short term and long term effect. I'll tell you what, why it can be a long term effect. So we've talked about accidents, we we'll talk about those are short term effects oh, of God. taking a call. There are others, but let's limit it to that. Now, what are long term effects? Let's start with the brain down. Number one, shrinking brain. You'll see that when they start getting older, they can't be, be take a lot of things. 
so they are brain in a shrinking vein. Do you understand? Now, so number two, alcohol t- it does this to the brain. Yes. Wow. Number two, the accident um, we talked about. Guys, ab- stay away. The <laughs> accident we talked about. Now, when there is um, when when there is a car accident, what can happen to you? You can have um, fracture fracture of the a femur of and it gets and you might not be able to walk again and what cost it you might even die so. yes what, and what cost it excessive alcohol intake three what can happen broken relationships we've seen people who have taken excessive alcohol they don't now have time for their family anymore they spend all the money on alcohol and it affects the relationship thereby leading to broken relationships long-term effects what can happen again now let's go to medical issues of what can happen they can have um heart diseases people will take except you see people will take um um, smaller call like wine would help the heart but excessive alcohol intake now would that would damage the heart do you understand what can happen again liver damage which is one of the major that's the one of the major liver damage it would affect how, how does it damage the liver exactly because what there's there's the uh, um what we call alcohol dehydrogenase okay. that is when you take alcohol that's the enzyme that breaks down the alcohol now when you now take give it excess it's the liver will start um shrinking, shrinking. and okay. if it's not too bad it can always rebuild itself okay do you understand it can always get rebuild. back to work and yeah, get, get back to work but if you take excess it will damage the liver so the, the enzyme that breaks down the alcohol we take is what we call alcohol dehydrogenase. So after a while, the alcohol has already killed the enzyme. Do you understand? So it doesn't function to do it. It doesn't again. function. So I didn't go to medical school. I'm already learning this. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That's one of the reasons why I like coming here because... <laughs> <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I like that. It's, it's like you're dehydrating yeah. the liver from mm-hmm. what it's supposed Close to, to be. Yeah. yeah, I, I think mm. I get that. So, so um, another thing that can happen is um couples they can they can uh, infertility okay mm. does this. yeah of course of course infertility they would start um going then the doctors might advise we reduce your alcohol intake they get less yeah, i hear that a lot yes. i hear that a lot even as regards blood pressure i don't know how how how, how it relates yes of course you hear them okay yeah um, you, you, your blood pressure is really high maybe you should stop your alcohol so how yeah. does that relate um, because people it's it's people who take excessive alcohol intake are prone to having high blood pressure so they'll tell you stop a call. So that's also a point that you see, you, 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 you just you just giving us one more. So I, I, I blood pressure also. So all these all these are long term effects. There's still more. We can still keep on going listing like that, right? listing. Do you get? So there's still more diabetes is also there. Yeah, because it has a lot of sugar. Diabetes, it's made out of sugar yes, diabetes so. complication. So when we look at all these things, the you should always try as much as possible to limit your quality because taking excessively it has its own short term and it has its own long term effect okay. which is definitely not good for the body wow i've learned i've learned i've learned even if i've added i've actually also mm. learned I was, there's something i was going to ask but i don't know why it skipped it skipped me but now okay let, let's talk about um both of them together yeah. no no no, no they, they, uh, should we talk about both of them now or uh, however we however we or if it, or the effects on smoking on smoke okay like, let's do effect on smoking uh, let's do effect on smoking first then we'll now talk about Both of them the two together. of them now um they are short term and they are long term also okay. now for the short term you will see someone who smokes and just by going close to the person you start smelling cigarettes on the air they get now secondly short term effect on LD teeth look at their teeth yeah it's very it's very, very, very damaged very it's very unhealthy now three they could um they, they don't they don't like eating loss of appetite they have to actually smoke first before they smoke, smoke because the loss of appetite they have to okay, so then what do you see them coughing persistently they're always coughing persistently okay. So those are short term Does this cause tuberculosis in any way? Like as a small thing? Um because it it will damage the lungs. So imagine the lungs is damaged. It there's there is a probability. There's a way it works because tuberculosis is an infection. Okay. So there's a yeah it, the the lungs now could be infected. Now it could now lead to tuberculosis. So it's just like you've opened the the yeah. part the, the, the pathway. That's just the way it works. Not that it would cause it can lead. It can lead. Mm-hmm. It's the way it can lead. So those are short term effects. Now they're also long term effects. Hmm? Long term effects. Um one, it could lead to what we call bronchitis. That's infection of the bronchos. Now now two, 
it can lead to lung diseases. I've listed the lung diseases. Now it can also lead to diabetes, um, com diabetes, okay. diabetes complication. Three and um, four. How so? Before, I, before you go further, how does um, smoking? Diabetes happen? complication, not okay. diabetes itself. Okay. okay. Because people would would smoke. Now they, they imagine you have an injury, a wound. Okay. A wound. Now you are smoking. That wound won't heal on time. So the smoking delays the it will the delays it to delay the healing process. The healing process. Okay. So that, that, that's just the that's the way it works. Okay. In in terms of that, um, that then the cancer, cancer of the lungs, people who engage in in smoking. Wow. Cancer of the lungs also could, could occur. The way you now engage in both in taking alcohol and you now take cigarettes, you will now join all these things we've set together. Because everything is, we'll join all the things we've said together and look at how you stand at risk of having yeah, all yeah, these yeah, things. the effect. And when you now take it, imagine, it's, it's so, uh, like we mentioned earlier, let's just um, bring it back again. People will take a call and cigarettes. Now, it's someone who is smoking, hmm? who is smoking cigarette. There's a tendency for you to have this star and these chemicals okay. there. Then you know, you're not taking a call, then you're taking it so in. That person is at risk of having cancer of the throat and cancer of the esophagus. Wow. So people will engage in a call, and there are people who just engage in only a call, and there are people who engage in just cigarette smoking. That's why when you now check their lungs, even with just with x ray, you will just see how damaged it, it is. is already. All right, so let, for, for, for great sake, how often should we um, care for this? For us that, okay, we do it at minimal level, how often should we check ourselves or our health? Uh, like, like we said um, the last time, I've said it, anybody who is above 40 years old should try as much as possible to do a general checkup at least every year. When you do a general checkup, they will do a liver function test because I told you it damages the liver. Mm -hmm. They will do a liver function test for you. Okay. When you do, lungs? If, um, for the lungs, they would, you can do a check x-ray okay. just to check your lungs, make sure everything is okay. okay. If there is any damage, we would see it um, via the x-ray. Okay. Uh, once you do a general checkup, all these things encompass everything. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, that, that's good enough. That's but you will always advise because the damage starts more, more after 40. All this, the youthful, oh, it, 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 it's what you... All these things, they don't. When people tell me that, oh, by 45, I have stopped smoking, I've stopped drinking. You know, it's not. It's not then. Back then. It's not then. This problem starts. It is what you've done wow. that is causing it now. Wow. So it's not the alcohol and cigarette that you stopped smoking five months ago that is causing issues. So I can legit say that um, people of this generation will have issues at their forties. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I know what I'm saying because I know people that abuse things a lot. Yeah. So I, they don't feel it now, so I keep wondering why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> well, they feel like, ah, Mushi, you get that kind of, they can't defend themselves. So maybe when they are 40, 45, start telling them, maybe like. I, I, I think um, the information is, they, they know it's not good. Okay. But how bad it is, what they don't know. So okay. if you look at it, and most people are they really even willing to even do this general checkup even once in a year. We have to even look at it. Yes, you might have the money to take a call daily, but when they say do general checkup and pay, do you have, do they have the, do you, so those are the issues we're having. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the issues we're. I want to cry for them. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the issues. So basically, what we just advise is as much if you indulge in this, even if it's not excessive, you just try as much as possible. Once you are above 40 years old, Check do your yourself. general checkup once in a year. Let the, let the doctor satisfy your fit and you're good, you're good to, to go. go. Alright, so I've actually learned so much now. So those of you that are going into the Christmas season feeling all like, let's go and pop all the champagne, 50 bottles. I don't know why you drink 50 bottles. Why would you drink 50 bottles? And all of you that, like, let me use Remy Martin as an example now, that want to do 15 bottles, like, you guys have to watch it. I know um, we're back into that um, celebration mode and all of those things. So we, have to cut it down. Now, if you have to advise someone in this festive season, how often would you say um, they should drink? Because there's going to be a lot of that. The thing is, we have to talk about people who would bet. You know, some people can be like, I, 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 I um, yeah. 20,000 yeah. finish this. Um, yeah. We're going to see a lot of that this um, festive season. Uh, you just be like, 
Oh, 20,000 naira. You know, if you finish these 24 bottles of alcohol, that's the problem. And the man knows on a normal day I can finish this this thing. What's in this 24? And I'll get I'll get um, 20,000 naira. All he will just do is to start vomiting. But do you know the the damage that that, that that man has done? When problem starts, 20,000 naira will not solve your problem. Alright guys, mm. I think we've, we've heard like so much and there's too much more to So come. the best we can do is just limit it to what we talked about. Alright, cool. Alright. So, can we review that again? I want to remember the, the measurements again. Okay, let's, let's, okay. let's, let's, let's just yeah. say that again. Right. So basically, in a day, you shouldn't take more than 3 units okay. of alcohol in a right. day. Three now, for, for spirit, it is 25 un it is 25 meals in one so in one unit so you shouldn't take more than 75 meals in a day and you shouldn't take more than 525 meals in a week and you can't take it all at once please don't i try to plead that smart one on them mm. but it doesn't work like that don't mm. take all of it at once so you have to do it according to how he has said it all right guys um this has been very very insightful in case you have any question um just go to our page i'm sure you can see um doctor's hand you don't know why some of you don't call but it's all good um just go to what's your handle on this page um, yomsdale yomsdale that's yeah. y o m s d a l e s all right so just all your questions just trade by him and uh, please limit the drinking, just try as much as possible. I, I know we have come short of what everything has said, and we really want to try to adjust that. And in this season, of course, I'm going to be doing according to how he has. Maybe we'll be measuring it safe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been our views, and today we talked about the effect, of course, of alcohol and of course, smoking to our body and to our health, of course. And I'm sure you guys will. So you can copy this link and just share it to all your friends, especially those that do bet on drinks, those that drink and smoke, we've learned that's really, really bad. And for those that smoke, actually it's bad. And um, Doc didn't say marijuana is a go, but he says it is more healthier than smoking cigarettes. So pick my meaning from everything that I've said, <laughs> because Doc said so. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I mean, World Fight Happy on Instagram, World Fight underscore Happy. And the family is still seeing one TV. I was still the gang, gang, the fam, fam. See you on Thursday. Our views on seeing one TV. Sorry, one of one on seeing one TV. Of course, my celebrity guest. You just have to stay connected to find out, all right? Have a great night, have a pleasant night. See you, God bless you. I love you all. Bye. Lima Chalugo. Why catch a little mama? Why catch a little mugo? Yatago? Kobe! Yatago? Why mama? Never never know my belly. I'm to naga from my belly. Why when they kill it, make kill it? All the mukka mama and Mary. One that goes in a I'm trying to stack up to Billy Just because your mother is a sweet mom Doesn't mean she's sweeter than my sweet mom School of my pen and my logo do All the love I want to give my do All the love I want to pull us over It's a cook and guang against you don't know All the love I want to give my gift I know I'm too too great I'm going to pull on you My boy she give my nanji give Like you be friend of Jamma So Billy is a jack on you One name kill him no more One name kill him no more Kill him no more One name kill him no more